I want you to picture the scenario. You are a young working professional who just landed their first job and you're looking for a motorcycle that's easy to commute on, is efficient, has decent performance and more importantly, it looks good and not from an era that belongs to your dad. But that's a segment where motorcycles like the Pulsar N125 exist. This is Bajaj's brand new motorcycle and it's taken them close to three years to develop because it has been made completely from the ground up. We have a new chassis, new engine, and as you can see, brand new styling. Should you, as a young professional, look at this motorcycle? Let's find out. This young, sporty looking 125cc motorcycle segment has been growing by leaps. The TVS Raider and the Hero Extreme 125R are already making a killing and it was about time Bajaj stepped into the game. And they come up with a rather fresh design for the Pulsar N125. I'm really happy to see that Bajaj has come up with a really fresh design for the Pulsar N125. If you look at the front end, it's got a lot of visual mass. Look at the tank, look at how beefy it looks. Look at the tank extensions over here. It all adds a lot of visual bulk like the rest of the pulsars in the lineup. But at the same time, it looks more sporty and sharp. If you look at these panels over here, the floating panel down here, as well as over here. Again, good attention to detail. This sharp design is a welcome departure from the rest of the bikes in the pulsar lineup. And there are some other interesting details about the design as well. Now, when you look at the placement of the fuel tank in relation to the seat and the way it sweeps up into the fuel tank over here, this whole portion reminds you of the hypermotard, but it looks very, very nice. In relation to the front end now, the tail section is sleek. It again gels with the whole design of the motorcycle. And I also like the signature twin LED tail lamps at the back. On the whole, the design looks sporty, youthful, and it will appeal to the younger audience. What they'll also like is the new colors. Now this purple color over here, it reminds you of the purple on the first generation Pulsar. You also have neon, you have white, you have red. So I really like the fact that Bajaj has tried to go bold with the colors and that's a good step in the right direction. I wish I could say that about the quality of some of the parts. The plastics on the turn indicators are too shiny and the handlebar grips look and feel low rent. I understand that Bajaj is trying to keep an eye on costs, but the competition offers better quality in these areas. Now, while this is a compact 125cc motorcycle, the design is actually quite clever. The fuel tank sits slightly forward, so as you can see, there's more room for both the rider as well as the pillion. The seats are both wide as well as long and my height is 5 feet at 11. Let me sit on the bike and show you how much room there is. So, as you can see, plenty of room for me. As for the positioning of the foot pegs in relation to the handlebar, it's slightly forward set, but again, it feels youthful and doesn't feel like upright, like a commuter. So, that's a good thing. The pricing is typically Bajaj and there are two variants of the Pulsar N125 on offer. The base variant gets a slimmer air tire, smaller LCD and a conventional self starter. The top spec bike we have on test here has bolder colors, bigger LCD with Bluetooth connectivity, wider air tire and an integrated starter generator or ISG for a silent start. It also gets switchable auto start stop to extract as much fuel economy as possible. Bajaj claims that the bike will deliver around 60 km to a litre in mixed riding conditions. But that's not the only bit about the engine that I like. I think the first thing that really strikes you about the engine is its refinement. It's incredibly smooth through most of the rev range. It's only at the top where you feel a little bit of a buzz, but that's totally acceptable. In terms of tractability, it's quite nice. You can stick it in fourth gear at 20 kilometers an hour without any problems whatsoever. Even the gearbox feels light. 
and easy to use. In fact, the clutch is one of the lightest to operate in the 125cc segment. So as a city commuter, this engine really lends itself to the purpose really, really well. Even while riding on the highway, its performance is enough to sit at speeds around 80 to 85 kmph without the engine feeling strained. After those speeds, however, you can feel a buzz around the seat and the handlebar, but they never get bothersome. The smooth engine and its performance aside, what also makes the Pulsar N125 quite interesting is the way it rides. Now let's talk about the ride and handling of the motorcycle. As usual, Bajaj has got the ride quality quite spot on with this motorcycle. It irons out a lot of bumps and undulations really, really well. And it's only the sharpest of bumps that I fell through. So I don't have any complaints whatsoever so far in terms of ride quality. We rode over a lot of broken patches as well. And the ride is quite composed. The suspension absorbs everything very, very well. Now let's get to the handling. And I can say only one thing. This is quite flickable. Easy to ride, easy to maneuver through traffic. It feels light on its feet, quick to change direction and quite composed even when you're leaned over into a corner. So on the handling front as well, it's quite good. As for the brakes, they are quite decent. Good amount of progression and bite from the front end and you have a drum brake at the rear. Both of them work really, really well. But I wish Bajaj would have offered ABS at least as an option, especially since the competition does. Oh, it's time to sum up the Bajaj Pulsar N125. Well, this is a pretty good motorcycle. I like the styling, I like the engine for its refinement and tractability, and I also like the ride and handling. On the whole, in the time that we spent riding this bike over half a day in Pune here, this has turned out to be quite an admirable city commuter. It is a motorcycle that can hold a candle to the likes of the TBS Raider and the Hero Extreme 125R. Well, a comparison with those bikes is a story for another day. But as on a first impression basis, this is mighty impressive. What I would like you to do is comment down below and tell us what you think about the styling of the bike. If you retest it in the bike, tell us what you think about the motorcycle in the comments as well. Also, if you're looking for a fresh 125cc bike, then this is something that's worth looking at. <music>